With any man touted as a future Orzeki, do we look for sudden signs of improvement? Most clearly in his bouts with upper rankers. These in Osaka I think we found, but familiar failings mean Kiribayama still has lots to do. He began with real statements, beating Endo for just the second time in five with marvellous use of tripping leg, then evening his record with fierce rival Horshoryu through, what else, a stunning throw on the spin. But a first meeting with buzzing Abi yielded more than he could handle. Perfectly timed neck shots, a right hook not lending itself to a pull, and a left to the chest with barely a sighting of enemy belt. As this loss was one-sided, was his bounce back impressive? This Abi-esque display producing Wakataka Kage's only loss before day 13, while this rearguard action come left grip attack, coupled with frontal right, produced Mitake Umi's only loss before day 10. But three straight wins proved beyond Kiri for the whole of the meet. His second attempt thwarted by Takakesho's coiled swinging left. Ichino Jo, apart from these early pushes, would offer a different type of fight, and one more suited to his strengths. As Kiri took the belt early. <laughs> Resisted all tries to drive from the waist. <laughs> Stuck his head underneath, with right knee forward, and constantly threatened the pulling throw. An ambitious left throat hold saw him overstretch the right and loosen grip. But offensive stance was soon regained, reversed, and cashed in, thus tying their head to head. And we thought, given Shodai's rotten form, which saw some fans ask if he'd retire, momentum would naturally flow. But a seventh loss in eight to Shodai it was. That enormous Ozeki left blocking all designs on the force out before scooping for glory. Injured Meisei was a mere pinball between flippers. <laughs> before belt hunting Ornosho was tamed with his best move of the lot. A brilliant jerking of hips on the slide to claim all his foe's forward movement for his own profit. Yet a third attempt at three wins straight was scotched by the man whose title-winning brother he'd felled. Wakamoto Haru reaching over the top with oblique stance to distance his own belt, then keeping Kiddy's right firmly on the outside looking in,
before forcing the pace and the doors open for an inside left, which finally brought the crush out. Hokuto Fuji's spearing right was lent away from, then caught from below for a walk to the rope. <laughs> and a tight lock on this Georgian's belt set conditions for left side scything. Again though, Kiddy's run was stopped at two, Tobizaru exploiting uncertain hands to wedge left inside, grip, tip, and drive home with inside right. Kiddy's seventh loss in ten to the monkey. <laughs> to Koto Eko, he's never lost. A raking left and pulling right, maintaining that record, and taking him to 10 wins for March. His first double-digit score since his top flight debut over two years ago. Kiribayama is now solid upper rank material. But can he come to trouble those who ritually knock him about? And not with whirling throws, but with ice-cold frontal force outs. Then, I'd suggest, might we have an Orzeki.